Hello, this is the unboxing of a brand new Emotiva XMC1, brand new preamp processor, and it's rack. So we're installing this in a rack and we're going to have to do some surgery, so let's get to it. So this was on a waiting list, and I'm one of the first ones to get it. And I've been waiting a couple years now for this thing. This is going to be a hell of a post-processor. It should do a 7.2 audio system, and it is audio file grade equipment. A typical box within a box. And what do we get? Dear friend, from our pals at Emotiva. And start from top and the typical Emotiva curtain. So this is the remote. That is a solid piece of metal in there. Wow. That's a hell of a remote. I'm surprised. It's almost as heavy of a remote as they had on their DAC unit, which well, this will be partnering with. Very nice. Some boxes. And the boxes, I don't know what's in them. Probably a power cord. Uh, these are the uh, stereo antennas. Looks like a little uh, RCA quarter inch, probably for the triggers. And this little box has probably the power cord and a couple batteries. Awesome. So we're going to just pause this and uh, take it out of the curtain. Okay, we removed it from the curtain. This is the XMC1 black finish typical protective tape on the OLED screen and I can never get these things off this one's a little tighter than normal and we'll just pull that off Ooh, that's a sticky one and that should do it. Then we're going to get to surgery on the rack components. The rack's going to be on the sides, rack ears, but we're going to have to do some cutting and drilling because the only rack that fits is the URE3. So if you're going to put it in a rack, you're going to need that component and do a little surgery. Everything looks solid on the back. Very nice. So we'll get to the surgery. Okay, we're in my shop now and we're doing a little drilling on this URE3 rack. Uh, the ears come for a different component. So what I had to do to get this on the XMC, I gotta tilt it on the side here, is do one hole, I had to drill it right there. Um, the stock hole is off. There's no socket for it on the XMC, so we just got to drill one hole. So I created a little template, and um, what I'm doing is I'm just marking the relative position from the front hole uh, to the back. So we've got to drill one extra hole in the back here, and we're going to do that right now. So 
Um, I'm going to mark it and hold this stationary and then drill it here. I'm using a 764 um, titanium bit to drill to, through this thing. Um, and that's about the position or the diameter of the pre-existing holes. So I'll get this marked up and I'll show you what it looks like. It'll probably look just like the left hand ear here when I'm done. Okay, we got the hole drilled. Um, wipe this off. You don't want any of this residue getting into your XMC. It's going to be jagged on this side, so I'm just using this Dremel. Just a sanding bit. And just tapping it out a little. I don't really care what it looks like. That's going to be hidden nice and flush. Okay, so. Um, Let's tilt it around and stick it on there, and I think we're ready to roll. Okay, we got the ears on, and it looks good, looks flush. And that's all you got to do to get this thing in a rack uh, until they make some rack ears for the XMC. So I'll go install this downstairs and give it a listen. Okay, I got the Emotiva installed. This is the home theater. So we got uh, a 7.2 speaker system. So I can finally hook up my second sub, which is in the corner over there. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, basically a network streamer and a PlayStation. That's about it. And these are the 7.2 KEF rack. So I got the XMC installed which is right here. And you can see the OLED display showing uh, the input, the audio, the video signal, the, uh, the audio type, whether it's a DTS or analog or Dolby, or et cetera, et cetera. The resolution and the, uh, the bit depth. Uh, right now it's muted. Um, it's playing from the network streamer off of Pandora. Um, the rack here is basically an eight channel uh, power rack uh, from Emotiva. Um, I'm only using seven of the channels, so I got one to spare. Right now it's running through analog, but I'm going to balanced, and that's feeding into, uh, into the uh, XMC1. Below it is the, uh, the old XDR. This is the DAC. Uh, I feed the network streamer through the DAC, and that kind of levels off uh, the analog. Uh, everything is running through a power filter and through a network switch. So uh, right now it's muted and uh, you can actually use the, uh, the volume button. You just tap it and uh, you get uh, audio back as the OSD. Which works well. I have two inputs, like I said, the PlayStation and the streamer. So we'll go to the PlayStation. And it switches over. You can see it went to uh, DTS and it's in these initial units. It's going to come up with a firmware release. I got this installed on the network. I'm not sure if the firmware release is automatic or if I download it, but it's kind of nice having your, your pre on... Uh, on a network spigot as well. Um, and uh, so I had to do a manual tuning. So I measured out all the signals from all the speakers, all, all 7.2 of them, and uh, um, adjusted to 75 decibels. And uh, so it should be balanced in this chair, which my dog is sitting in, which should be the, uh, the best point for audio in the room. So if we just go to somewhere, see what it sounds like. And we're getting good 7.2 audio.